Hi, I get a lot of questions about our paints and because um, we're processing local pigments. Of course, we import some um, brighter pigments that come from around the world and some other natural pigments as well. But uh, a lot of people are interested in our natural pigments that come from right around here in Prince George. So I thought I would take you through a little bit of our process. So let's take a look. Okay, so these are some of the rocks that we've harvested from around Prince George. Um, my kids helped me, so some of these I wouldn't process. But um, there's definitely some amazing ones in here. So the kinds of rocks and pigments that we get around here are beautiful. They're wonderful ochres, and we have some oxides. And um, as you can see, this guy here is going to be amazing. Look at the color that just came off of that rock. However, they do need to be processed. So we have to crush down the rocks, and then we have to um, refine them some more, and we have to put them through a water filtration process. And, you know, some rocks can be soft and easy to crush, and others that have beautiful color like this, and it's, you know, throughout the rock, um, they are harder, and they will take a lot more to crush. So we definitely want to hook up the machinery for that, but some of these will do with, you know, you know, the mini rock crusher, um, and you can even use a hammer and a mortar. Although if you don't refine them as best as you can, you will end up with color that feels like um, sandpaper when you're painting with it. All right, let's take a look at some crushing. I ran this for a few days through the mini ball mill and it is amazing. The color is just so natural and gorgeous. All right, for our water filtration, um, once it gets through our little ball mill, then we put it through a very fine filter and it gets into that water phase that we showed you where it becomes a waiting game. So we have to wait for uh, the light, light pigment, it could be days if it's extra light, to settle to the bottom so that we can remove the water at the top and then um, allow this bottom pigment to dry right out. And then uh, once that's completely dry, then it goes through a mortar and then it becomes the extra, extra fine pigment that we love. Um, I put them in a small batches because it makes it much more efficient when waiting for my pigment. Okay, this is refined bit of uh, natural pigments and I classify them by color. I know that this one came out of a mudstone, packed mudstone. And then what we have to do with this pigment now is mix it up with our signature binder. Uh, it looks like honey, but it is not honey. So this of course uh, has a gum arabic base. We also add into it um, preservatives so that your paints don't mold and um, and some additives that help it settle and cure. So uh, this is of course our signature binder so that's kind of a trade secret everything that we put in there but you mix the two of these together to the consistency that you like and I like a thick consistency with a real high pigment load because that makes sure people have a good time painting and mixing their colors. All right let's head to the machine. This is definitely a machine not to be trifled with a lot goes into just setting it up. As I'm getting ready for our color club, I am going to put through some uh, turmeric color. This is a beautiful yellow color and um, it is just going in there with a rough mix job and this roller mixed grinding machine is going to make it um, nice and flush and make sure that uh, there are no clumps in our colors. And then to make sure that the quality is correct, I run it through this gauge and look at the microns. And you can see where it breaks up there. It is just under five and that's perfect. Then I put more paint on our little dot collections. These ones again are for the color club, but of course we have our caps and uh, some tubes. Hope you enjoyed discovering how we make our watercolors. And um, as you can see, we put a lot of work into it and uh, it's a rigorous process that we are uh, really proud about. And we do this to the highest professional degree possible. We love, love, love that our paints are right up there with the top brands around the world.